A very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery. Now, a few videos ago, you might remember me trying to do a bad impression of the Grim Reaper. So that was a scything video if you hadn't seen it. And I was just saying in that video about why we scythe on our small holding slash homestead. And it got actually an overwhelming response. And I was absolutely amazed by how interested a lot of you were about scything. Now I decided to make another video just to try and answer your questions about how do I get into scything. So I'm going to show, tell you how I got into scything and why I think this is the best way for you to get started. Now you could always simply go on the internet and watch some videos about scything. However, the best thing that I honestly feel to start scything is to actually go on a course. So last year my father and I went on a scything course. It was about an hour away from where I am here. And I'll, I'll actually give you some links about how you can go on that exact course as well because it was really, really interesting. But we had seen a couple of articles in the permaculture magazine about scything and to say the least we were truly inspired and we're fed up of always having to have a super noisy strimmer and everything. So we decided, hey, why not? Let's just go on the course and see what it is. Maybe we will like it, maybe we won't. Well, obviously we really, really liked it. And the reason why I feel you should try and go on a scything course is because you have that one-to-one -one interaction with a teacher or a tutor. For my instance, Phil, he's such a fantastic scyther. He's been scything for the past 10 plus years and it was amazing being able to go on this course uh, just as we got there we got given a snath so that's basically a super duper posh word for the handle and we basically just got started with uh, a scythe we measured it to make sure that it it was ergonomic and worked properly because it is all about being ergonomic when you're scything. So you're doing minimal work to get the maximum output in terms of getting huge efficiency from the scythe. And honestly, scything is really good for your health and well-being, but it's also pretty easy once you get the right technique. So in the introduction course, we learn all sorts of things such as how to get the proper technique, how to set up a scythe, how to sharpen the scythe, and it was a, a really nice experience. There was just a small group of us, there were uh, six of us who were, I think it was about six of us who were learning, and then Phil obviously was telling us exactly what to do. But it's that one-to-one -one and proper hands-on experience with a person who knows exactly how to scythe is, I think, the best way, because I'm going to be perfectly honest, I get really frustrated if I try something new and can't do it properly, and I'm sure quite a few of you can relate. So actually, investing in a course is definitely the way forward. And the type of scythes that the course you want to opt for is Austrian scythes, so Eastern European scythes. This is because English scythes are pretty terrible, and by far, Austrian scythes are definitely the most ergonomical and the highest quality size that you can get. And they're also the best performing. So simply, the best way to get into scything is to look for a course. If you're in the UK, then you're lucky enough because you can simply go to the place where I learned how to scythe. I've got some links in the video description here. I think they do actually have a few more free slots this year. So quick, grab it whilst you can. But scything is fantastic. It's great for making hay. We use a lot more of the grass now for making mulch. We've also brought, um, basically, it's a trimming scythe setup. So we have a scythe with a small blade and we learn how to basically scythe in a close, small proximity. And the great thing about a scythe is that you have full control with where you're cutting. And actually, a couple of weeks ago, my father and I decided to go on a Tai Chi scything course. This was learning all the techniques such as body movements on how to create maximum efficiency when we're scything. And it was another great experience there at the Scythe Cymru um, Doved Permaculture Trust site. But I'd, this is basically an 
advertisement and a plug to tell you that you need to start scything if you are interested because it's fantastic it's so good for you you don't need to pay for any petrol and it gives you a really nice more satisfying feeling than having to always go around with a lawnmower or strimmer. So I hope you found this video interesting. It was something completely different, but I just want to get that out because I know there are a few of you and hopefully a lot more of you now who are going to be into and who are interested in scything. So basically what, I, what you should do is simply search and look for a scything course and that's the best way to get into it and it's such a great thing i've never looked back from scything yes i do strim from time to time if there is something like a really small path that's too tricky to scythe but i would say about 80 percent now of the grass i cut uses a scythe so i hope you found this video really useful and that it kind of if you are on the fence it's kind of pushed you towards learning how to scythe and in the meantime, this past week, I've been working hard on creating a course for you. It's all about how you can grow food inexpensively so you can grow your own and save money. And I'll be keeping you updated with the progress of that. But at the moment, it's looking really good. I filmed over an hour of content and hopefully there'll be about two to three hours of content with that. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you're all having a fantastic growing season and I'll see you again with another video very soon. Goodbye.